Well, today we did, did a quick trip to Laredo just to check out what, what is this border city like. And it's a really fantastic little historical city. So we'll walk the streets and uh, hope you enjoy. So the first stop on our tour is the Cathedral of San Agustin. It dates all the way back to 1872. That's when this church was erected. Uh, but it stands in the place of an ancient Spanish colonial settlement, Villa de San Agustin de Laredo, which was here from 1755, so some, some hundred years before the church got erected. Now, this is one of the newest cathedrals in Texas. It only got its title of cathedral in 2000 when uh, Pope uh, John II... Uh, John Paul II deemed it to be a cathedral. I tried to walk in and show you what it's like, but unfortunately the the cathedral was closed that day, so we didn't get to see the inside, but boy oh boy did we get an awesome look from the outside with its beautiful white walls. This is the second tallest building in all of the city of Laredo. So, it's a big boy. Wow. What a beautiful, beautiful cathedral. And here, right in front of the cathedral, is the actual area where the original villa stood. So, this is literally where the first settlers in the area of Laredo settled. And this is where the Spanish colony took place in 1755, right here where we're standing right now. All right, guys, well, we're about to swim Rio Grande. <laughs> I'm just joking. Uh, we are actually probably at the, the most close point to Mexico you could be without crossing the border. So, check out what's behind me Let's see if I can zoom in I cannot zoom in okay but it says Mexico and this is Rio Grande so literally literally maybe like 50 meters from here is the lands of Mexico we sort of walk down the shore there's a check station right there and right behind me is where people can cross between two countries either by car or on foot so you actually see quite a lot of people just making their way back and forth between the two countries it's just so amazing you know literally just across the river is where mexico begins you can see some mexican people sitting on a shore enjoying their evening somebody's driving to or from work and a regular day in Mexico. All right there. You know, it's uh, it's surreal to see this in a way because, you know, if you look at it, it's just a river. You know, nothing special. But to think how much, how much, how much separates these two worlds, Mexico and United States, the way of life, the government, culture history you know it, it is it is it is such a in some ways it's very close but in some ways such a big big divide and uh, to think about how much grief there is um, all the all the people trying to cross the Rio Grande trying to get into into United States um, you know it just makes you think about all the all the all the lives of people that are been so closely tied in with this with this crossing and um, you know how how symbolic it is in a way you know it's also interesting to see but how you know we're surrounded by a fence you know there's it, there's a fortifications to get out of here to get in here there's state troopers everywhere and on the other side it really doesn't seem like much you know there's rocks and 
perhaps that's a straight state trooper right there maybe not but it, it doesn't seem like there's a whole lot preventing people from coming to this side and so you know it just it really makes it real when you when you hear about how many people want to uh, try to cross the border it, it, it makes you realize how how different the situations are in two different countries Oh, cool. Well, guys, this is the streets of Laredo. Little, little border town. Not too big. Kind of cozy. Well, guys, we found it. We're here. We're in Liverpool. Let's go have a pint. And, uh, well, I do have to say, it kind of feels like walking maybe more of a, in a Mexican city than an American one. All the signs are, of course, in, in Spanish. And uh, the stores and whatnot, everything looks much more Mexican. It's a very very interesting town if you want to if you want to get a little taste of what what it would be like to maybe walk in a Mexican city come to Laredo and walk the streets and uh, you'll get a glimpse yeah this is definitely definitely different than most American cities you've seen and definitely different than any American city I've been ever in. But it's neat. It's very neat. One thing that I noticed is uh, there's a lot of perf perfume stores as well as dress, dress stores. They seem to be on every corner in downtown Laredo. So if you're in a if you're in a shopping business for one of these two items, this is a gold mine. 